I am in Ojai. I am running to a thrift store to see if I can find a good silk something. Anything light colored that I can dye with the flowers. Yeah, that was my original plan. Dyeing with flowers. <laughs> totally bombed it. Sucks. Not shareable. It's hideous. Didn't work. Moving on to the next. Good thing when I was shopping, I found an unexpected gem hiding in the back of a vintage store. Look at these blankets. I'm gonna make clothes out of these blankets. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but they're so freaking cool. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, we are going to transform granny blankets into the season's hottest trend crochet everything. We're gonna make a sexy crochet dress, crop top, little skirt. This is so fun and it is so easy. This is like the ultimate beginner's hack for creating something that looks really, really custom for basically no money and for basically no effort. You definitely don't need a sewing machine for any of these projects. All you're gonna need for one small section is a uh, spool of yarn and a needle. What are those big fat needles called? The like, um, darning, yarning, yarning. No, that's not right. Darning? Why would they put a D in front of it? A big fat needle with the big fat hole for the big fat thread. You need that. And it's only for a small section. I've got an amazing hack for how to create this gorgeous lace up back that has no loops. It has no hardware, nothing. You're going to die. It's so easy to do. Now, when you are thinking about your blanket, I just want you to think about two things. Number one, obviously think about it as clothing. So make sure that you're not doing something that's like so thick and so heavy and like so granny that it can't be cool. You want to imagine it as like a, a fitted dress or as a crop top and make sure that you like it. Number two, if you are actually using like your granny blanket, like a gift, I do think this is a super cool way to commemorate a really special blanket that maybe is just sitting in a cabinet in your closet somewhere. But if you're a little nervous to do that, thrift stores are an amazing place to go to grab some really cool blankets for like none of the dollars. So few of the dollars that it's totally worth it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. I came to Joanne's to get the matching pink so that when I cut my blanket I can like clean finish the edges so they don't unravel and I think the pink is sort of the freshest color. Look at this wall by the way. How fun is that? Oh, I love it. I wish there was a smaller bundle. I don't need that much pink. Oh well. I'm actually gonna go in reverse order. I started off trying to make a little like mini strapless dress and this bottom fabric that I'm cutting off, that's this fabric right here. I'm gonna show you the demo out of order so I'm actually gonna start with the long dress. I've got about half of the blanket I'm working with here and I'm gonna take one of the corners and just anchor it to the top of my dress form. This is going to create basically like a one shoulder tank halter up on the side and under both arms. You can see all I've done is wrap it around the back and maybe I'll make it tight, maybe I'll make it loose. I'll figure that out later. First thing I'm gonna do is cut one super long piece of thread, now, or yarn. The reason this is such an easy project is that this is a crocheted blanket. There are one million holes every like eighth of an inch, there's a hole. You can literally anchor any piece of yarn to any section of the dress to create ties that lace up. So that's what I did right there. I just created a little slip knot. I put the loop through the side, slip knotted it, and now I'm gonna be able to figure out I can create a lace up back. So I anchored it under the arm where I would wanna hold the bust forward so that it stayed tight in the front. Then I basically crisscrossed into what felt natural. I shoved the, the yarn through a hole in the blanket and pushed it through. This is in lieu of having any loops or any hooks, any grommets, anything like that. You don't need it. You can make this whole thing by hand. Same thing for the very top. I took two long pieces of, of yarn and I do a slip knot out of frame for some reason. Sorry about that, but you can see it's anchored up and over the shoulder and I've then just hooked it into the right place on the back so that I can tighten it and again, make it really nice and snug in the front. Now, once I basically had the structure of this in place, I decided I wanted to braid a more substantial trim. So instead of using the two pieces I did, I took a larger trim. So this is basically three super long pieces that I folded in half, giving me six pieces. You're gonna take the loop where you folded it in half. That part, you are going to do the slip knot into the dress. So pick your anchor point wherever you wanna make it tight, do a slip knot, pull it nice and tight, now you are going to braid that super long piece into a nice, pretty braided strap. Braid the entire thing. You're gonna do it for all of these. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna crisscross and figure out, okay, where would I want it anchored? These original ones are gonna come out, but I was keeping them in place just so I could see where I originally had it. I started lacing it through and then eventually I just pulled those guys out and now you can see I'm gonna end up with this really pretty braided detail, but the technique is the same. You're just pushing it through holes in 
the blanket until it's anchored in the right place that gives you the fit that you want. I mean, it's the easiest thing in the world. We're doing the same thing with the top, the very corner. Three long pieces, fold it in half, take the loop and create a little slip knot and now braid what's left. Once that part is braided, I'll do the same thing. You can see I actually put a pin where the hook should be. So I'm gonna push it through, right through the hole. Then I will tie a knot when I try it on. I'll adjust it to fit so it's nice and tight and then I'll tie a knot and cut off the excess. Now the last thing that I have to do is close the back. You can see I decided to pin it so it's super fitted, more like a column dress as opposed to an A-line dress because I think it feels a little bit cooler. It also creates a really nice angle where the fringe detail starts creeping around the front, which looks really cool as well. To sew it up, all you're gonna do is take that giant needle with one piece of yarn and just go in and out, in and out, in and out, creating giant looping stitches. This is so forgiving. Literally each stitch was like an inch apart and it is perfect perfectly strong, holding in place, it's great. Now let's go back to creating the crop top. So this is where I started, right? That's the full length of my blanket. I wanted to make that little tank dress and this dress was longer than I wanted. So I put a random jewel that I found on the floor at 26 inches. That's where I was gonna cut it. Now, because it's a striped blanket, I'm just cutting between two stripes. It makes it very easy. I'm cutting straight across. Now I'm just following the line of my dress and I'm cutting it a little larger for some seam allowance because I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna sew it up. Now I just fold it in half so I can cut the side. And this is what I was saying, you don't need a sewing machine. My original plan here was just, again, a needle and some yarn and stitching it up. So I could actually wear it reversible. I could have this big sort of pink stitching detail on the sides or flip it inside out. It was taking me a while and I just wanted to know if it was even gonna work. So I ended up ripping it all out because I was like, my sewing machine's right here. Let me just do a zigzag stitch just to get a sense of if this is even gonna work. You do not need the sewing machine. I literally did it because it was sitting there and I can and it's easy. But stitching it up with a needle and thread is a thousand percent doable and it will create a really cool detail. I flipped it inside out and I tried it on. I just kind of attached some straps with some pins and. I wasn't loving it. I don't know, I felt like it might be better sort of cropped. Like I think I'd wear it more as a crop top. I sort of folded it under and I was like, yeah, that's kind of a better fit. I don't know. So what I decided to do is crop it. I'm gonna end up with a skirt and a top so I can wear them together if I want, but I'm just gonna cut it. I obviously decided to do this out of frame because that's tremendously helpful for everybody. All right, it is cropped. Now, the last thing that you really have to do here is clean finish the edge and that's what that pink sort of thread is for. When you're gonna loop it, you're gonna do these stitches that create like a little clean finish edge plus a knot. So to do it, you're going to put your needle up through the bottom. I'll talk it through right now. So take your needle and just move over to where the next stitch should be. You're gonna hold the tail of your thread towards the right so that it's actually encapsulating it. Now before you pull it tight, pull your needle through the little hole before you pull it tight so it creates a knot in that hole. So you just keep doing this over and over until the entire bottom has this crisp pink detail. It started curling on me, which I liked. So I actually kind of kept stretching it so I could intentionally get that curl on the bottom. And these were the three straps I was deciding between. I think I, I wish I had gone with the pink, although I went with the velvet blue, but maybe I'll swap it. But it did look really cute. We're done. I'm gonna model these for you. The dress, I think I'm gonna take on my trip to New York because we have a wedding. I'm not gonna wear it to the wedding, but we have like a booze cruise rehearsal dinner. How great would this dress be? Like with strappy sandals and like a glass of champagne on a booze cruise. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, really, really fun. If you guys like this video, I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to click that bell for notifications. That way you actually know when I have a new video. And if you liked this one, share it with a friend. Man, you have no idea how hugely helpful that is when you guys do that. You could screenshot it and post it on your social, tag me, I'll share it. All that good stuff is super helpful. Um, okay, you guys, have a beautiful week. I will see you next week for a great DIY. Thanks for being here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you.